Hey guys, Dr. Galliard here, and I'm the author of the book, Rebuild Your Brain, Stop the Damage, Start the Repair, and I am the owner of the Functional Medicine Center of Fort Collins and the founder of the Neuro Rejuve Brain Building Program. So today I wanna to go over one of the questions that we get all the time from patients is, why am I waking up at three o'clock in the morning? or whatever time it is. Usually somewhere one, two, three, four, a lot of times three o'clock is what it is. And so why do I wake up and have a hard time going back to sleep after that time in the middle of the night? I call that the morning. I'm usually up by four, four or four thirty. So, uh, you know, to the three or four o'clock, you know, but usually that's a little bit earlier than most people want to be waking up. So what is actually going on there? There's a very big physiological reason why we see this happen. And the number one cause for that is our blood sugar dips in the middle of the night. So let's say you ate at five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, whatever it was, and that blood sugar dips, it starts going down, and what happens? Our adrenals, there are stress glands, they're gonna be stimulated to tell the liver, liver, keeps immediate stores of glucose, tells that liver kick out immediate stores of glucose, keeps that blood sugar up a little bit higher, and we stay stable, our blood sugar stays stable. But you've got this adrenaline type process going through your body. So we get this adrenal response, we get the blood sugar to come up, but now we're sitting there and we go, we got a lot of stuff going on in our mind. Well, everybody's got stuff going on. We're a stressed world. If we all sat there and thought like, what can I stress about? We've all got something we could stress about, but not everybody wakes up in the middle of the night and can't get back to sleep. So number one thing that we can do is keep that blood sugar stable throughout the rest of the day. This is why we have our patients start monitoring their blood sugar and they check to see why it's going up, why it's going down, very specific times, specific ways that we go through that process. And then from there, as you keep it uh, stabilized throughout the rest of the day, then you wanna go to what's happening before bed. And if you need to, you make sure that you have a little snack before bed. If just keeping it stable throughout the day doesn't do it, then you need to have a snack before bed. That could be a half an apple and some almond butter. That could be a slice of turkey breast and a slice of cheese. That could be some different things, little fat, little protein. But what we don't wanna do, which what happens with the vast majority of people out there, a bowl of ice cream or something like that that has this glycemic response, it shoots up and then it's gonna crash down even faster. So we have to keep that blood sugar stable as much as we can throughout the day and right before bed, keep that there. Uh, some people, they even need to get up and have a little snack at the middle of the night. And then in the old days, what would they do? They would drink a warm glass of milk. Why? Because they, they probably milk that themselves. It's full cream on the top. It's got a lot of good fat, real protein. It's not the, the degraded stuff that we, we call milk nowadays. So that would give that a little bit of boost. It wouldn't be this huge adrenal output and we'd be able to get back to sleep. So very important to keep that blood sugar as stable as possible. And this is going to be one of the big things that helps get people to sleep through the night. Let me know if you have any questions. We'd love to answer those for you and have a wonderful day.